Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the big announcement that Huawei just made about their Mate 30 series. We're going to be watching their two promotional videos for the phones. They're just at least a minute long. And then we'll be going over the price and the specs. Anyways, let's get right into it. Here we have the first video. So they have that waterfall display like I talked about before in the previous video. So it comes with 5G in their Kirin 990, which is a really fast processor and I'm glad that it's getting an even better upgrade. You saw that quad camera array, array in that like circle glowing thingy. Uh, it's not the best design in my opinion. I think it looks really out there, but some people will prefer it. Huh. The colors are nice. Um, in general, the phone is really cool. I like everything about it except for that circle on the back. I think it looks ugly. The notch is still also just an eh to me. I mean, it's not like they could do much, but the cameras are beast. So I'm happy to see they're like actual results of the camera like the sample photos they take but if you saw that video that was probably highly edited that video was super crisp and clean and i loved it with the slow motion and stuff amazing good job huawei now for their porsche design for their mate 30 rs That's a very unique design, a leather backing with the middle part being just black. I don't know. Do I really like it? It reminds me of the Oppo Reno with the line going down the back. But this one's more of a square. I mean, the line was fine because it kind of looks cool. But a uh, rectangle? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But for me, it's I'm not a big fan. That looks really fake. Wait a minute, let's go back to that. <laughs> Look at that. That looks so fake. You can't tell me that's real. That's so fake. <laughs> what? What are you doing faking your ads, Huawei? Come on. That looks like a cartoon car. So it was going for the Porsche design because in the Porsche cars, it has a line down the middle. I didn't know that until now. Kind of dumb. Sorry. Um, but in general, I I <laughs> I don't really like it. I like the leather finish though. The leather leather finish is way nicer than a glass back. So I I would prefer that red one. That red one looks super clean. When it comes to the leather, I'm not talking about the rectangle in the middle. It's still gonna have to grow on me. I don't really like where they have the flash too. I think it's way off to the side and it won't be that good. I mean, most Android flashes aren't really up there with iPhones, true, true tone flash. So, it, I, I wonder, like, is it even gonna be good? It's all the way off in the corner. It seems weird to me. 
anyways now we're just gonna go over the specs and just like what the phone has so the display is 6.53 inches 1176 by 2040 which is really nice resolution the processor is the Kirin 990 which is also having 5G support if you get the 5G version the front camera is 32 megapixels which is really crisp and nice now the rear cameras are where I'm really excited for the main camera is 40 megapixels but also the ultra wide camera is 40 megapixels as well that's crazy. I can't wait to see um how crisp and clean these ultra wide photos are. I hope it has a good field of view that takes advantage of those 40 megapixels. The two time zoom or the telephoto camera, I don't know if it's two time zoom or if it's three time, but the telephoto photo camera is kind of lacking, but I mean, I guess it's 8 megapixels. I would have hoped for 12 at least. But it is what it is. You get 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is more than enough already. I like how the base storage is 128 gigabytes, which is really nice. And the battery capacity is 4,500 milliamps, which is really nice. It's running Android 10, but if you guys heard, it won't have Google because of all the controversy that's happening in America right now with the Trump administration. So it's kind of sad that it won't have Google support. But the phone in general is still ahead of m most of the competition in many aspects. And it's pretty nice to see how far they've come from their old devices. I think they're, this phone is going to be really good. I really like it. It's going to be sad that you can't get it in America because they're banned. For whatever reason. But still in general, I would love to have my hands on this phone. Sadly, I might not. I probably won't be able to do that unless I move. Um, but we can just look at it from afar and just like admire it and be like, yes, this is a beautiful phone. Anyways, that's pretty much it. The Huawei Mate 30 series looks really nice, clean. The back finish on both designs is not for me, in my opinion, but it might. you guys might like it. So it's always up for debate. Um, I don't really mind the notch too ba too much. I think it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, it's it's a bit smaller. I I'm hoping. I think the waterfall screen, there's no buttons if I remember correctly, so it's all haptic touch. I think, which is really cool, and I like how they're pushing the boundaries of that. Still not a big fan of waterfall screens. I think, I mean, to me, it's kind of useless, but you know future future right it's gonna become the norm so we all have to get used to it anyways that's pretty much it for me let me know what you guys think about the Huawei Mate series if you guys like the design what do you think about the cameras are you excited or if you're gonna buy it in the comments below if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and if you want to see more content like this in the future make sure to subscribe because I'll definitely be upgrading uploading sorry <laughs> more more frequently as the days come by every every time a news article comes out that i'm interested in, interested in i'll make a video on it and you guys will be updated well that's all for me i'll see you guys in the next video peace